What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and here we are with the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5i. Now this here is a two-in-one device that's aimed at those looking for a compact and lightweight solution with a productivity focus at a value. So let's talk about it. I've been using the Flex 5i for about a week now as an alternative to my heavy yet powerful Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. And as you can tell, I am a Lenovo fan, especially if you've been following the channel for some time. I even have the Lenovo Legion Go, a nice, powerful handheld gaming PC. But in comparison to the Legion Pro 7i Gen 9, this is going to have some features that that device doesn't have, such as a touchscreen and a fingerprint scanner. I wish for the price I paid for that Legion Pro 7i Gen 9, it at least had a fingerprint scanner. And this is the first device that I've ever had with a fingerprint scanner. And it gives this device a futuristic feel. So let's talk about the chassis, which comes in a storm gray colorway. And the Flex 5i is advertised as a 14 inch unit, which makes it compact and lightweight. So this device is going to weigh in at about three and a half pounds. And overall that makes it easy for transport and it doesn't feel like a burden to carry around. Now, although the Flex 5i is compact and lightweight, it houses enough ports on the left and the right side to get things done. Also a focus on productivity. So on the right side, we're going to have our power button with LED indicator, four in one card reader, and two USB type A ports. And moving on to the left side, we're going to have our power in, which is a barrel style, unfortunately. But the good news is we do have an alternative charging solution we'll mention in a moment. Also on this side, we're going to have an HDMI port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 type C port, that also includes Thunderbolt 4.0 and a headphone mic combo port. And as previously mentioned, we do have an alternative charging method if you don't wanna use that old fashioned power in barrel style connector. And that's going to be built into the USB type C port, which also supports display out if you wanna to connect to a larger monitor to get a further productivity boost. So based on my experience, we're going to have enough ports here for students and business employees. Moving on, we're going to have startup. And with the Windows PC, you can set it up in the settings so that your device will automatically turn on when you open the lid. And startup is going to be very quick here. In fact, it's comparable to my CX55 Chromebook. So much so that I'm actually switching from that device to the Flex 5i. The Flex 5i is also going to have a more compact footprint and as a result, it's going to be lighter than that CX55. So here we are at the login screen and a feature I absolutely love about the Flex 5i is going to be the built-in fingerprint scanner. Never had one of these on a PC before and it works really well. So it's going to be tucked into the right side of this working area here, right underneath the keyboard. And it blends in very well because the colorway of the fingerprint scanner is almost identical, if not to the rest of the chassis as well as the keyboard itself. Again, this fingerprint scanner has very good performance. It's very responsive. If we press and hold on it, it works instantly. And then we can log into our device without the hassle of passwords or pens and this just creates a more futuristic experience. Now, of course, you can log in with a password or a pen using the keyboard. And the keyboard, by the way, works very well. It's going to have good click feedback and the expected travel that you would expect from a laptop. And this keyboard is going to be backlit and we can adjust the backlighting by pressing and holding on the function key and tapping on the space bar. And we're going to have three options for that. So of course we can turn off the backlighting or we can have a more dimly lit keyboard. Or if we do the function and space bar again, we'll have max level brightness for the backlighting. Moving on, we are going to have the trackpad, which I like here on the Flex 5i. It's actually centered in the chassis here. So on some laptops like my Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9, it's actually offset to the left 
and that actually messes with my left and right clicks lots of times. As for the ability to locate the trackpad without having to actually look at it, it's going to be okay here. As with all trackpads, we're going to have this edge around it, and it's not really raised all that much. It's almost flat with it. It's raised slightly. So it's going to be okay to find, but you may have to look at this area just to kind of get an idea of where your finger is on it or near it. But I will say this trackpad comes in at a nice size and that's actually very good for this device considering that it is a more compact unit. As for digging into performance of the trackpad, using it for moving around the UI is going to work just as you would expect. And as for click travel, it's going to be along the line of normal expectations as well. But I will say as with any laptop and it's built in trackpad, if you're planning on longer productivity sessions, you're usually better off going with a standalone mouse. Moving on, we're going to have the WUXGA 1920 by 1200 touchscreen display, which features fairly thin bezels. So overall, this is going to look very nice. Colors are going to look great here and the brightness gets up to 300 nits, which is great for indoors and probably just okay for outdoors. Now, one problem I have noticed with this display is that it is very reflective. So you'll see a lot of your environment inside of it, which can distract from the actual content. As for touchscreen performance, it's going to be very responsive and a great alternative input for dragging items or scrolling through content. Now, when it comes to this display, you can use it for productivity, but again, this whole unit is compact, and that means that the display, again, it's only a 14 inch unit, so if you have content on here that's being used for multitasking, that content may feel cramped. That being said, you may want to connect to an external display for extended productivity sessions. And a small side note, we're going to have a 1080p FHD web camera built into the top bezel. And it's also going to have a privacy slider. Now the privacy slider is very low key. It's almost hard to find and you may even miss it when looking at this device for the first time. As for camera performance, it falls along the line of expectations for laptops. These cameras aren't going to be all that great. What I noticed is that there is a lot of blowout. The light end seems to be over exaggerated to the point that it looks overly bright and you do get that grainy quality. It's low quality. However, this should still work great for things such as lectures, meetings or phone calls. So let's talk about a highlight feature of the Flex 5i, and that's going to be its two-in-1 functionality. Now, Lenovo advertises that the hinge here that's used for this two-in-1 functionality has been tested over 25,000 times, and that's great for performance, but also peace of mind. Now, based on my experience, this hinge does have a good amount of resistance, and there is a method to articulate in this device but otherwise it moves smoothly and it gives you this nice tablet form factor. And that's the benefit of these two in one devices, which also go by the name of convertible. You're going to get a laptop form factor here and also a tablet form factor. Although I will say the tablet form factor is going to be noticeably thicker than a standard standalone tablet, such as an Android tablet or an iPad. But this works really nice for the Flex 5i because again, it is a more compact unit. And although in tablet mode, it is a thicker tablet because of the form factor, it's manageable. It could be a bit better, but it's not going to feel like a burden. And then we have the speakers. And honestly speaking, that's probably going to be the biggest disappointment of the Flex 5i. Based on my experience, the volume doesn't get loud enough. And it's going to be worse if you're working in tablet mode because those speakers are built into the keyboard and they're going to be facing downwards. At least when you're working in laptop mode, the speakers are facing upwards and the volume's being projected towards you. 
But even in that situation, once again, doesn't get loud enough for me. So that being said, you're going to want to wear headphones or earbuds if you really want a good audio experience with the Flex 5i. So let's talk performance of the IdeaPad Flex 5i. Now I do want to mention I threw a few gamer stickers on here just for a bit of a cooler look and some protection. So just ignore what you see here. As for specs, we're going to have an Intel Core i5, 8 gigs of RAM, a 512 SSD, which is going to be great for storage. And we're going to have Intel Iris Xe graphics. So this is all going to be fairly good for this price range. Again, this device is productivity focused, but also content consumption focused. And that's what I've been using it for. And it's been working really well in those regards. That being said, if you're looking to do more complex tasks or more high demand in activities, such as video editing or gaming, I would leave those to higher end PCs like a Lenovo Legion Pro unit. That being said, finally we have battery and charging. And once again, the Flex 5i is aimed more at productivity and content consumption. And I will say based on my use, it was very easy to get hours and hours of usage per charge. Now, of course, I was doing all of this in battery saver mode, and that's going to be ideal once again for students and business employees. And I also want to emphasize that's very important because that demographic, they're usually on the go, nowhere near an outlet, and having that long battery performance is going to be very important. But should you need to charge up, this device does support a rapid charge boost feature using the correct adapter with the correct wattage while the laptop is either off or in a hibernation state. So 15 minutes of charge will give you about two hours of usage. And speaking of the adapter, here is the adapter that ships with the Flex 5i. It's going to be a brick style. And once again, it's going to have that barrel style connector, which is going to look dated. But once again, you can use a USB-C charger for power delivery. And that does work as I've tested. So that is it for today's video. Overall, I'm very happy with the Lenovo IdeaPad Flex 5i. Once again, it serves as a great compact lightweight alternative to my more heavy but more powerful Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 9. And this just gives me a bit more comfort taking it from room to room. It's just easier to handle. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon, check in out.